Hey everyone, I'm Jaden Sterling. Welcome to this week's edition of Money Speak. I'm excited. This is the very first episode of Money Speak, and I want to share with you the messages that money has for you this week, September the 11th, 2016. As I was lying in bed this morning, that's when I do this kind of work before my conscious thinking mind kicks in. I tune into the energies of money and I I get a feel for it. So I asked money this morning, you know, what is it? What can we expect for the week? And today, Sunday, September the 11th, the energy is all around, you know, just kind of take it easy. It's, it's a little volatile energy today. Uh, not a day to go out and spend money. It's more of an emotional day. And if you spend money uh, when you're feeling a heightened sense of emotion, you may overspend or you may buy something just to feel better to fill that emotional void or emotional need that you have and not the best formula if you've ever done that in your life, you know that. So um, just kind of hang out today, stay home, relax, surround yourself with family and friends, get your emotions fulfilled that way rather than by spending money. So a relaxed kind of day. As we go into the week, Monday and Tuesday, the energy changes very quickly. We find ourselves more comfortable to be out uh, amongst people. Um, it's also a fantastic day to connect in with making new connections, uh, doing more business with uh, referrals. So really look for referrals Monday and Tuesday coming into your week. Now, most of the time, because energy is right, if you uh, check out the the weekly Wealth and Wisdom reading. I'll put a link here and just click on that or a link in the description. But check that video out because I share with you what to expect all throughout the week. So, But this video is a little different. This is how you can best work with the energies of money based on what also came through in that reading. So Monday and Tuesday, ask for referrals. People are helpful. They want to help. Maybe it's coming off the, the weekend after 9-11 and everyone's kind of back into their hearts thinking about life and what matters, and ask people who you've done business with who enjoy working with you already, ask them, you know, who do you play golf with who would enjoy my products and services? Who do you shop with who might enjoy my products and services? And let them tell you. Let them give you a referral. So Wednesday, Thursday, we get into, with the energy of money, very tactical financial aspects. So look at your, your investment statements, you know, how are you doing? Things are shifting in the investment climate as well. Gold, uh, oil is holding its own right around $46 a barrel. Oil, uh, gold is slowly creeping up about 13, a little over $1,300 an ounce. So we're starting to see commodities do a little better in this kind of market, which is always an indicator that things are changing. Commodities tend to do better in investment markets when the economy isn't doing that well. So it kind of gives you a hedge as, as the economy falters that if you have a certain part of your investments in commodities that uh, you'll have a hedge against any kind of movement in the other larger capitalization stocks. It feels like retail stocks, there's um, kind of a le uh, departure from retail. So if you're in the big retailers, Walmart, Target, those kind of things, Costco, um, just look at your portfolio. It's time to rebalance. It's time to sell a few things and then look at what you want to buy going forward. I, uh, as we go into the fourth quarter of the year coming up here fairly quickly, it feels like th there needs to be some type of hedge against a drop in the market. So um, maybe as you sell some, take some profit right now, leave some of that money in cash, or um, buy into investments that go up when the market goes down. And there's, you know, talk to your investment advisor about that. And then we roll into the latter part of the week, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The energy is totally right for relaxation, meditation, working with the energy of money and directly with money. You know, money is a combination of, of feminine energy, of creativity, and masculine of giving, of action. You know, it's, it's a combination of both of those things. So making sure 
toward um, in this week that you're doing both. You're not just being creative and then not disciplined enough to get your creative uh, artwork or products and services out there to sell to people. You have to do both. So tap into your creativity this week for sure, but then also tap into your masculine uh, energy and get your, ask people to buy your stuff. Ask them, put your products and services out there. It's a great time to work on a website too. It's also a great time to start putting, promoting your products and services more. So get clear. It's a big week. This is a big money week. Things are changing, shifting all over the place. It's, it's a tremendous week for solid financial decisions. Talk to your investment advisor. Um, you know, if you're whoever is helping you manage your portfolio, this is the week to make some changes right in the middle of the week. Be a little more defensive though. Um, make sure that you have some cash built up. Make sure that you have money in money markets. Prepare in the event of a decline in the market. Just feels like that may be coming. The markets had a tremendous run, particularly the US market this year. And there just feels like it's, it's losing a little bit of steam the fourth quarter. There's a lot of uncertainty around the election. So there's a way to profit from that. And the way is to make sure that you're hedged your investments. You have some commodities and you also have investments that go up when the market goes down. Have a great week. I'm Jaden Sterling.